Today's quick tip is, what about elevator behavior? I get this question all the time, and people just act weird in elevators. Some will go to the corners, some immediately go to the back, some like to stand right by the buttons, uh, all sorts of things. A lot of elevator behavior is based on the fact that you are taking people, many of them strangers, and you're forcing them into a very small space. That immediately causes psychological discomfort. Another thing that impacts on uh, elevator behavior is culture. Those of you who have ridden an elevator in New York know that, uh, for whatever weird reason, it is verboten to talk to each other. People just do not talk to each other. Conversations come to an end as soon as you enter that elevator. Which contrasts greatly with many countries where, for instance, when I lived in Puerto Rico, uh, when you got into the elevator, everyone turned towards each other faced each other as you rode the elevator and continued to, uh, to talk. Where in most of North America, people immediately turn uh, to the door, stop talking, and uh, perhaps look at the number. Today's quick tip, uh, elevator behavior, it can be a little unnerving if you're visiting the United States or if you're visiting other countries, and just be aware that the closed space will affect you, and secondly, that culture will impact on how to behave in that elevator. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please join us here and subscribe at People Watching.